What's up guys, today I'm gonna tell you about squats that felt like an RPE 10 good morning and looked like a pretty decent actual squat. Welcome back to another episode of Project Pilsen. Today I was back in my suit for the first time, post deload, post meet. Took 320 for my first single. It flew, it felt really good, it felt like everything was on track, put 340 on the bar. And for both of those singles, I felt like I really mucked them up. I really, really heckin' messed them up. Uh, watched the video back though, and they looked fine. Uh, it was really weird to sort of have that huge difference in how it looks versus how it felt. Uh, it felt very good morning E. Uh, definitely felt like when I hit the hole, I tipped forward and felt like I used mostly my back to perform those squats. But upon reviewing the video, uh, they didn't look that bad at all. They looked like about a nine, or, uh, an eight, eight and a half maybe. Uh, and then I took a triple in the suit. Thank God I'm doing triples and not sets of five anymore. Mike, If you, I don't know if you watch these, but thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Suited, full equipped fives just drain your will to live way too quickly. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, hit a triple with 315, which is my best raw squat. Um, so that was good. Uh, again, that set, I hit the first rep and it felt like a 10, uh, and then I did two more. So again, just felt terrible, looked like you would expect and totally normal. So I'm gonna kind of chalk that up to being a bit detrained and just having everything feel heavy because I just finished the deload. Uh, normally I ease back into it a little bit. I take it a lot easier my first week back, but uh, pretty confident with my starting point. So next week we'll try again around the same weight, and hopefully bring that RP uh, or, or at least the, the feeling aspect of things down on my level. Uh, after that I moved on to some competition bench and I was extraordinarily happy with how, with where my competition bench is starting. Uh, started with a single at 160 kilos and it flew uh, probably seven and a half RP, which for me is really good, especially for the first week back. Uh, a lot of times when I'm cutting, uh, my bench drops off pretty quickly and it doesn't seem to be doing that right now. Uh, and I was able to use more weight again for my volume because we're switching from sets of five to triples. So 150 kilos for about, I don't know, 14 or 15 singles, or sorry, not singles, triples this week. So it feels really good to be working with heavier weights. After that, I moved on to the slingshot, worked up to single at 187 and a half kilos. Uh, this was an RP9 or so, which is exactly what I was looking for. Uh, and then did an AMRAP with 150, 152, 80% anyways. So I got about seven reps there, that was decent. Deadlifts uh, felt a little too good and I ended up tweaking my back a little bit. Uh, just kind of oversold the extension on one of my reps. Um, trying to do more hook grip. Um, uh, at my last meet, that 390 was starting to slide out of my hands just a little bit. So I'm trying to do more than just the singles each week. If I can get in a couple of my volume sets with hook grip, I think it's gonna go a long ways towards building a little bit more strength in the grip so that uh, when I get to Pilsen and, and try to do something more than 390, uh, that I can hold on to it. So anyways, on one of those reps, kind of overextended, felt a little tweak crunch in my back, but uh, that's feeling a little bit better even by now, so hopefully that doesn't affect me too, too much this week. And that's about it for training. So for our question of the day today, question comes from Doa Duart. I don't know. Uh, anyways, he or she asks how to get back into training after tapering and peaking for a meet. So given that that is exactly what I did today, maybe I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, so after your deload, you're going to be a little bit detrained. You're not going to be as strong as you were during your peak, obviously. So what I like to do is take my estimated maxes from the last program or the last block. Uh, and take about 5% off of those and use that as a starting point. Um, if you're using a percentage-based program, you'll often hear people talk about using a training max. They'll start with about 95% of their best lift. So having and expecting a little bit of that slide back, post-meet, post-deload, 
is a good thing uh, and is going to save you from overreaching and over exerting yourself, pushing too far, putting too much weight on the bar too early on and allowing you to have some room to build some momentum as you move through the next block or the next phase of training. Anyways guys, that's it for this week. That is squats, we'll be back for bench. We didn't get deadlift film this week, but there's uh, there was an exciting bench session, so stay tuned for that. Leave a like if you liked it. Make sure to ask more questions of the day below. Uh, we had to do some digging for that one, so if you got questions, ask them, we'll answer them. And uh, hit that subscribe button, we'll see you guys soon.